Valentine mm. is coming. Hey, is your boyfriend? All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we heard there are various signs knowing that if you to know if you're a side chick. I didn't know this was a problem. My people, I did not know this was a problem until when we talked about it, people were saying that, ah, it's a serious issue in today's times because you're dating somebody, you don't know if you're the main person, that it's almost acceptable now that you're likely to be two or three or four. You're amongst. And I'm thinking, for real? Okay, so let me, practical experience. When I was going to get married and I was going to pray about it, and I'm from, a, I'm, my, I was born in a white government church, um, CNS, and they were like, present, they gave me Your a names. form. They said, present their names. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought... Names? Names. <laughs> only one, I guess. I, said, but any other person that is asking you... Yeah. So I had to now start cracking my head. Oh, this person was <laughs> was, serious. Me this one person was serious. <laughs> but they expect that First you should have options. options so. And that when you look through the options you and choose. pray about it, then you now choose what you want or which one works. So I think that we've allowed it for women. And then for men, we sort of like see it. Especially for those that are really, really like boboish. I don't agree with you that women tend to multi-date. I think women usually tend to be the ones to have one particular person. Men are the ones that usually have options. And that's why you'd hear usually when they break up with someone, be like, oh, he got married two months after he broke up with me. <laughs> you know, an because, yes, because you were many options. And for me too, like you, Mariah, I don't see anything wrong with dating you know, yeah. multiple people. Please. Dating because I know Nigerians will come for me now. Dating say, is different. Uh, hey, it's different. Um, one of the ways that you can even tell that this I'm likely the side chick in this relationship is every holiday that is supposed to be celebrated with family. Mm -hmm. He goes MIA. You don't okay, see so him. Okay, we're talking of husbands now. No, 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 no even the boyfriend. Boy if he has you as a side chick, he will want to be with the main chick on special days. Yeah. Uh, Christmas uh, celebration, Easter celebration. Uh, you, know, you know, those kind of celebrations, you have to, you mix it with family where they go to the home and all of that. And every holiday from beginning of the year to the end of the year, he goes MIA on you. You are likely the side chick. There's no yes. way, two ways about it. And then you are in a relationship where he doesn't even as much as post your picture. Hey. On the story, sex. On, your, on his story. Hmm. You are side chick, sister. Confirm. Not Facebook. Not, uh, yeah. not as in no picture at all. If somebody looks through, they cannot even attach you or tag. You can't tag him. He wants you. Don't tag me to any post. Sister. You are a side what chick. If, what if, what if you're not that way inclined? No, 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 no. What if you're comfortable being a side chick? Like, you know what? I, I don't want to be a no, main no, chick. No, but Mariah, you need, to, we need to answer this question. <laughs> what was, because your own, you've not told us your own, like, story. Your, your own you story. Think? In my own story, not with my husband, though, um, I, I found that, remember, I, I think I've shared the story before, where I found that I was a side chick. Okay. I did not know that the guy had a main, guy, main person. Ah. And the, person, the main person was living in the US. Oh. oh. So I'm there dating this guy, thinking like just you mm. and I and everything. And <laughs> things were cool. And, 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 and just one day, I called him up. He didn't pick up. And it was, um, I think it was Christmas. It wasn't Valentine's. Mm -hmm. It was Christmas. If I, if I mention where he's living now, people will know him. <laughs> so I drove <laughs> to the place and I packed the car outside. I saw a lot of activity in the house. So I walked sideways to his side of his house. Mm -hmm. And when I, when I got to him, because I was living in the bungalow. So it was a bedroom. I went to where his bedroom was, and I saw somebody on his bed, sitting down very comfortable. I see it's her room. There was a little girl coming in and out, and he was there talking, they're laughing, and his sister came in, the brother yes, came in, whoa. and they're having this family excitement. You there like a spy. You. And I'm there like the spy, like <laughs> looking through the net. Like, oh my God, I have oh. been a side chick. Oh. So this is the real person. Oh, oh my Lord. <laughs> As I left that house, I deleted his number. I did, he called me, I, I just blocked him. Yeah. This man wasn't married. <laughs> he, he had a daughter mm. with a lady. Yeah. Yeah. And he told me that him and lady were not together anymore, but she okay. lived abroad. But that was a lie, obviously, because the lady came back with the daughter mm. and they were, they were the chummy, club. chummy yeah. in there. So I, was, I thought, that, uh, so that's what happened. I was, I was a married man. because mm. This particular story I heard, you are the face on social media. You are the one that they take out and everywhere. But there's somebody somewhere. We don't know the sort of conversation he has with the one in the house or the main one, you know, as it eventually panned out. She was aware of the people that they hold hands with, take pictures, we put on social media. And when it was time to 
marry. To settle down and marry, he went for the other one. And the other one had always known. No. So in her mind, she was like, these are the side chicks. These are the ones that just like to disturb him. This is just for show. Mm. I am the real person. So if you were to use social media to determine if you were a side chick in this position, mm. how would you tell? So my own is, just pray you're not with a deceitful person. Mm. Somebody said he liked me very much. Okay. He lived in Abuja and I was... Uh, I was in just at the time, and I had a friend that lived in Abuja. I called her, I said, this is this person, this is this. Meet with the person, let's see. see. He fell for that one. Oh, Jesus You Christ. see? Well, I don't know if he fell, but he went in. All all in. She all actually in. was like, oh my God, he's so Nigerian. I said, no, I didn't tell her what he was trying to tell me. I was just like, you know, this yeah. uh, mm, what, that that is a... And they did tell her. Well, I don't know what he was doing with her, because <laughs> when he now visited Joss, he was now trying to visit us. I was like, ah, did you ever meet him? He was like, yeah, once in a while. I'm like, hey. hey? And I know <laughs> that what has been happening, you know. So, so you it's see, important to also have that sisterhood relationship where people keep an eye out yeah. for you.